All right, guys, what is going on? I think this video needs to be made. I'm gonna try and do it on the fly. I had a few notes written down, but you know, I don't know where they've gone, so <laughs> I'm just gonna do this on the fly. I know that everything I wanna say will eventually come to my head, so let's just get into it. This video is gonna be about how to grow your social media, how to grow your Instagram, your YouTube, etc., the right way um, and in an effective way. First things first is, look, be real. Be yourself. Right now, I'm being myself. I'm moving my arms around, I'm making facial expressions. I'm not even thinking about it because I'm just being myself, you know what I mean? A few months ago, I made a, made a couple of videos basically entering into the half natty, fake natty debate. I did it because I thought that that was gonna grow my channel. I literally thought that that was gonna get me views, it was gonna get me subscribers by having a controversial title. What I didn't realize at the time was that I was actually forcing it. I was literally forcing this video out. I didn't really wanna speak about it. I didn't really know what I was talking about, but yet I made this five or six minute video, uh, long video talking shit to the camera and and I got told about it. I My subscribers, um, voiced their opinion and they said that you can't keep making videos like that if you want to keep this channel if if, if you want us to keep watching and it, fuck, it made me made me think you know what am I doing have I just like I literally had to talk myself out of um, of deleting the whole channel and if you yeah I mean if you want to go back and watch that video that I made it was a re reply video to everyone's feedback on on the original videos, it's called, what's it called? Um, it's called a wake up call, or getting my wake up call, because that's exactly what it was, it was a big wake up call. Um, so, yeah, following that, I took those videos down and just decided, right, any video I upload, not only am I gonna edit it properly and make sure that it looks all right, because I've been caught out with that too, like having voiceovers on different parts of the video and shit like that, you've just, you gotta be professional, and that, that leads myself into my next point, which is professionalism. So let's just take YouTube, for example, okay? You want your audio quality, you want your video quality to be up to standard. You want to be able to, you want to explain what you're trying to say. If you say ah and um too much, cut them out from your videos. I say them a lot. Some videos I cut them out if I'm saying it just way too much, but if I say a few in there, I just leave it um, because the whole video going through without any stops and starts makes it seem a lot more natural. Now, as far as quality goes, you probably want at least 1080p, to be honest with you. Um, who knows, in five years, it might be 4K, it might be 8K. I have no idea. But at the moment, you want at least 1080p for your videos. Or at least give people the option to watch it in that, because um, obviously, you know, when I'm watching it on my phone, I w watch it in 360 or 480, but when I'm at home, I want at least 1080p. If I don't have that, it just pisses me off. So. Um, that's probably gonna be your viewer's opinion as well. So make sure you do that. For Instagram, I would say picture quality, once again, professionalism is extremely important. No one wants to go and see a blurry picture of something they can't even see that's not related to your account or what you're, what you're posting about, and it's not interesting for anyone. So why would anyone wanna follow you when you post up shit pictures? Not only that, but you want to put a spiel with it. You don't want to just post up a picture. It might be a really good quality picture, but all you've got is, is 30 hashtags underneath. You don't even have a message. You don't have an explanation about the picture. You're not telling, you're not giving your viewers anything. All you're doing is fucking fishing for likes. Now it's all good to put 30 hashtags on a picture, but put it at the bottom of your little spiel. You know what I mean? Give people what they want. They follow you for a reason. Um, give them what they want. They want a little bit of insight, they want some writing. Um, and if you don't have enough inspiration to write something down, don't post the picture. Wait, save it. You know, if you've got a really awesome picture, you wanna, you wanna put a nice piece of writing with that. Because Instagram, YouTube, things are there forever. It's like a, it's like a vault. And um, you don't want shit lying around that you're gonna regret in the future, you know what I mean? So try and put, the best effort into each pro into each product that you make, whether that be a video or a picture or whatever. Now, 
Once you've got an account, obviously you want to get it out to people. So there are various ways of advertising yourself. It's not vain, guys. If you have a genuine message and you want to share it with people, it's not vain trying to get yourself out there. Um, but clearly, obviously, the, the main thing that you can do, the first thing that you can do is, is hashtag on Insta or put tags on your YouTube videos. So that's gonna, that's gonna obviously, how hashtags work, uh, people will search for that exact hashtag They'll look through an album of photos with the hashtags in them. Your photo will be in there. Hopefully people will look at it eventually if it's a nice looking picture, which goes back to what um, I said before, because someone's looking through hashtags. They're only going to click on, all they see is a little thumbnail. If they see a blurry picture here or a really nice aesthetic fucking bright picture here, they're going to click on that one, aren't they? So that's what you want your pictures to be and your videos to be. Um, now when you're advertising on YouTube, you want a really nice cover photo for your a thumbnail for your video almost almost more important than your title to be honest with you is your thumbnail um, that's what I've found so I've had a video full of awesome um, you know awesome knowledge bombs but with a really shitty thumbnail got 20 views I had a really shitty video four minutes long really short uh, with an aesthetic thumbnail of a six pack or me I don't know in some good lighting or something and that got a hundred views it's like well Right, so obviously your thumbnail is going to be really, really important. If you want to make it even better, go into a video, uh, a picture editor software or something and put a title over the top of the thumbnail so they don't even have to read the title. All they, all they have to do is look at the thumbnail, they know what the video is about, they'll click it without even reading the title about what's, what it's about and they're already at your video. And so you've got all of these different social media platforms, you want to link them together. So let's say you've got a Facebook, an Instagram and a YouTube just for fitness related um, things I'm just referring to for you know for this video so let's say they're all fitness related you're a competitor and you want to link them all on your cover photo you want not only the name of that particular social media platform but you want the other ones as well you want your Instagram your YouTube and your uh, Facebook and you also want it done professionally I've tried many many times to do my own cover photos they just don't work guys they don't fucking work unless you're unless you're a designer yourself so what I've done now is actually invest my time uh, with someone else and my money with someone else, I'm going to be paying them too and they are doing my cover photo and my intro um, for my YouTube channel so things are going to be nice and professional from the start. You've got your templates there, then you can use them for, uh, for future, future posts. Now I think I've rambled a little bit here but basically I mean, the, the, first, the first point was the most important, be real, guys. As far as, that, um, as far as feeling vain about and feeling awkward about putting yourself out there, I felt like that at the start, but you've just got to remind yourself that people follow you for a reason and they do actually want to be involved on your journey. Um, you might not realize it, but you probably are inspiring people out there. Um, I don't really realize it, but when people tell me that I am, it's an amazing feeling and it makes it all worthwhile. So keep it up guys, don't give up. Don't give up on your social media um, accounts, don't give up on your dreams. We're all going to make it. It's taken me a year and a half to get to 317 subscribers on, on YouTube. I've done over 100 videos now and I've got 300 subscribers. So, you know, put it that way. I have still been able to keep motivated. I've still been able to make videos, um, post on Insta, blah, blah, blah. Uh, even though I'm not getting the views I want and the views I think I probably deserve. But I'm hoping that uh, investing in things like this camera to make the quality better, to make the overall production uh, more aesthetic and more viewable for you guys, that hopefully, hopefully in another year and a half, we might be at 3,000 subscribers. Who knows? Thanks for watching, guys. I know I've rambled. I hope you learned something. We're all in this game together. We're getting it. We're making gains. Peace out.